Hello wonderful human beings and welcome back. So after the last video I posted, you guys had a lot of questions about the making money online thing. So I thought I'd create a video just for you guys to show you the methods that I use to make money online. According to a study done by CNN, 68% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. So if you're looking to add a little bit of an extra income every single month, or move entirely to making money online and living off of passive income, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you eight ways that I have used or currently use to make money online. So let's jump into the computer and get started. All right guys, so we're gonna jump straight into it with the first method, and that is writing and selling an ebook online. So you're probably thinking that you're not an author, but don't worry about that. The majority of people online or the majority of authors are people just like you and me who are writing something and selling it and putting it into words. So if you, or maybe you've already written a book and you just don't know where to sell it or how to publish it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for Kindle self-publishing and you're gonna click on this first link and it's gonna take you to Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing website. Now the great thing about this is that you can publish a book in a couple minutes and it's online and on their marketplace within a couple days, one to two days. Now the great thing about publishing a book on Amazon is that you're taking your book to an audience. Amazon already has a large customer base that are loyal and are willing to buy from them. Whereas if you're trying to sell your book on other platforms, you have to bring the audience to your book. So it's essentially build it and they will come versus build it and take it to them. So if you go to Amazon and you search on Amazon Kindle books, let's say we search for photography, right? Now, the majority of these books aren't from big name publishers or big name authors. There are people like you and me selling these books. So you can see that these books are, uh, there's tons of these, these books, and they're $3, $8, $9, $37. Now you're probably thinking that's not a lot of money, but what some of these guys do is they, if you're going to build a Kindle business, you're going to sell multiple books. So if you're selling 10 books that are making three to $5 each, every single month, that's a solid amount of uh, money that you can be bringing in and a solid income. And there are ways to, to make more money like this, with regards to ranking your book up and ranking it higher on Amazon. So as you can see, some of these guys are ranked 8,000, ranked 27,000, 37,000. Depending on how high you're ranked, it depends on how many sales you're going to be getting or how many sales you're gonna be making and how many reviews your book has. There are ways to get around this. So if you do get into this business, you can find ways to rank your book higher, to get more reviews, or you could simply buy your way to the top. As you can see, this, this book says sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. Now what these people are doing is they're essentially using the Amazon PPC or pay-per-click platform to pay or bid on this keyword photography. So when someone searches for the keyword photography on Amazon, their book shows up on the first page and they've bought their way to the top. Now the great thing about this is that you can use these books to also funnel tra traffic to different methods or different things that you're selling. Say you're selling a photography book, maybe you funnel that traffic or the people who read your book to your website or to your Instagram account or wherever it may be and you can funnel their traffic somewhere else and basically get them into your funnel and make money that way. So that's one of the methods. The next method we're gonna talk about is affiliate marketing and that actually leads on straight from Amazon. So say if you search for weight loss books, right? You search for weight loss books on Google and you scroll down and you see this article for 10 books that help you lose weight. So we click on that and you read through this article and you're looking for a book to help you lose weight. So you read, you read, you read, and you see, okay, cool, eight minutes in the morning, this looks like a book that could definitely help me. So if you scroll over this link, you'll see in the bottom left of my screen, it says key code 224896 at the end of that link. Now what that means is this is an affiliate link. So whoever clicks on this link um, and buys this book, this person who owns this link or who owns this website is going to get a small commission of that sale. Now you might not make a lot of money this way starting out, but depending on how many sales you, you sell or how many books you sell or how many different books you sell, you can make a lot of money that way. Now, if you scroll down and scroll down and you'll see there's multiple books in this post. So someone might buy one of, one of these books out of these 10 and they'll still get a commission. So if you take a look at this link, you'll see it says amazon.to or amzn.to in the bottom left corner. So that means this is an Amazon affiliate link. So if we click this link and it takes us to Amazon, you'll see that you can buy this book on Amazon. So now whoever's link that came from, that person will get a small commission of the sale. Now you're probably thinking, oh, I'm only getting a commission, I'm not gonna make a lot of money that way. Well, the cool thing with Amazon is if you're part of the Amazon Associates program, as you can see here at the top, if you're part of the Amazon Associates program, everything that you buy for the next 24 hours, that person that you came from, who 
or whoever's link that you came from is going to get a commission on everything you buy. So say you come along this, this diet book and you like this book and you add it to your cart and then you scroll down and you like this book as well and you buy this and add it to your cart and then maybe you buy a supplement that goes along with this book. So you scroll down and you buy a supplement and you add it to your cart. Then later on in the day you come through and you're like, I need an exercise ball that's also or like one of those fitness balls and you add that to your cart you get a commission of every single one of those sales. So if you can basically pile on those things, you're gonna get a commission off of every single sale. Now, the one way that I do this at the moment using Amazon Associates is through Kit. So because I'm a photographer and because my photography, my channel, my YouTube channel is mainly based on photography, photographers watch these videos. And uh, oftentimes photographers want to buy gear that is relating to a photographer they like or that'll make them better. So if they visit my kit profile, you'll see that all these links you can view on Amazon. So if someone comes to my, my account and purchases uh, a link or purchases a product through one of these links, I will get a small commission off of that and as well as everything that they buy for the next 24 hours. So it obviously depends on what you're selling, what your niche is or sort of what category you're in, depending on what you can market to sell. There are multiple affiliate websites out there that you can use to find things to sell or find other people's products to sell. So it's completely up to you depending on what you feel like you can sell or what you, you want to sell. Or if it's just something that you're very interested in. For example, photography for me is my main focus. I love photography. So they might as well use it to your advantage. So let's take it on to our next method and that is selling services online. So there are sites like Fiverr. Upwork and 99designs. So Fiverr is a website where you can list your skill for sale and someone will pay $5 or more for it depending on, on what it is. So there's everything from graphic design to music to digital marketing, translations or whatever. So say you click on writing and translations, it'll take you to a site to, to their categories where you can search for anything. So let's have a look at creative writing. Now, what you can do is each of these people is listing the, their service for $5, as you can see here. I'll write a great description for your book, which will sell it. So you pay this guy $5 and he will do that service for you. So now you can go on the other end of this and offer your service or your skill for sale. Now, it depends on what you want to do. It can be different for every single person. If you've got some little skill that you can do, you can go for that. Even creating YouTube thumbnails or writing YouTube descriptions is one of these skills. Creating graphic design, uh, creating logos and things like that are one of these skills. The first thing that I ever did on this platform was designing logos because I really enjoy graphic design as well. So I would design logos and I made a good amount of money selling logos. And the cool thing is you can upsell things as well. So let's click on this guy's profile and you can see that for $5 is the very basic service which is up to 200 words that he'll write for you. If you want a premium service with a cover design and a title as well, that's an extra that's $20 then for $40 he will give you a few other things from subtitles and keywords and everything like that. So you can upsell and you can make a good amount of money on this. Then Upwork is very similar to that whereas, whereas the difference is that you can list things for sale, um, list your skill for sale in a multiple different categories but then you basically have your own rate, an hourly rate. So someone can hire you and you can make a lot more money on this platform. So one of my best friends is actually a web developer and he sells his services on Upwork and he makes a good amount of money, a solid income from selling web design or web development services on Upwork. Then one of my personal favorites is 99designs. So this website is basically only related to creative aspects. So logo design, packaging design, book design, t-shirts, all those sort of things. Even web design is in here. So when I first started out making money online, I was using 99designs. This platform is a little bit different to the others where it's basically competition based. So somebody will bid or create a competition or a gig and they'll have a solid, a set amount. So say $599, then what will happen is multiple designers will compete or submit their designs and the, the creator of the contest will choose a designer and they will get that full amount. So you can make a good amount of money on this. Um, I, when I started out on this, I won a few, few of the contests and I bought my first camera making money from this platform. So you can make some, some good money from this. All right, so let's get into the next method of making money online and that is actually selling products online. So now you can do this through Amazon or through eBay depending on which you prefer. So just as with the Kindle eBooks, 
we've spoken about this, that people like you and me are actually selling books online. And the same goes with Amazon. So if you were to search for something like resistance bands or exercise bands, the truth is that majority of these people are people like you and me selling products. I, when I first f heard about Amazon years ago, I thought all the products on Amazon were sold by them, when in actual fact, it's not like that at all. So all these products that you can see are these resistance bands, resistance bands are most likely manufactured overseas or in China, and then someone like you or me is listing it on Amazon and making money that way. At the moment, I focus the majority of my efforts uh, on this because I found it to be the most solid and the most uh, consistent source of income, as well as the highest source of income with making money online. So I've got this extension called Scope, as you can see at the bottom. This will show you how much revenue or how much money each of these sellers is generating from each of these products, uh, basically relating to their BSR or their Amazon best seller ranking. So you can see these guys are making a good amount of money. So the first seller on this page is making $49,000 a month in revenue, then 55, 50, $114,000, depending on where you are on the page or where you're ranked. Now, again, the same as with the Amazon Kindle eBooks, it depends on how high your product is ranked, depending on how many sales you'll get. And there are ways to work around this by getting more reviews, by increasing your sales velocity. And if you guys want to learn more about that, as I said, I am focusing the majority of my efforts on this at the moment, and I have been doing so for about a year. You can click the link in the description and you'll be taken to a page where you can fill out your information and I'll send you some more information on that. So let's take a look at this again. So as you can see, uh, sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. These people are all paying Amazon through their PPC campaign to basically get ranked on the first page for this keyword resistance bands. So you can essentially buy your way to the top again. Now with eBay, it's essentially the same where it depends on you basically list your product for, for sale or for, for auction and you can sell your products online. Anything you can imagine, you can find on eBay and Amazon. The next method we're gonna talk about is actually selling stock photography online because the majority of my audience is photographers uh, because you're following this photography channel. I'm gonna show you guys how to sell your stock photos online. So there are websites like Shutterstock and iStock Photo or Getty Images and you, if you have like a cache of photography lying around on your hard drive, you can actually list it up here for sale and people can buy your images and you get a commission. Now, it depends on how well your image is or how, how requested it is, goes to how much money you're gonna make. So obviously, if you have a popular image or something that somebody's definitely searching for and really need, you're gonna get more sales and make a lot more money that way. So you can list your, your, your images on here and start selling pretty much immediately. So the same goes with iStock Photo. Then another method to use is Image Brief, which I actually really enjoy. I use Image Brief a lot because they basically pay a lot more per image. So Image Brief is very similar to 99designs when they list a brief online or a gig and you submit your images and depending on which image the creator of the brief likes the most, they'll pay that person for their image. So you can get paid a lot. So let's click on briefs and let's take a look at what people are requesting at the moment. So as you can see, these people are looking for hope, hopeful portraits of homeless people in American cities or um, modern Kolkata or stunning landscapes and cityscapes. So you can sub submit your images to any one of these briefs and if your image gets chosen, you get paid. So if you can even get multiple images. So say you submit a couple landscape images, right? And this seller chooses two of your images. That's $450 per image that you'll make off of that sale. So that's a good amount of money as well to sell your images online. And the cool thing about this is that you'll get email debriefs, I think pretty much every day, and they'll, you just submit your images. You can even submit images to multiple briefs, and if they're not chosen, you can send over copyright and things like that, and you can make a lot of money off of one image. So this is a really good way to do that. That brings us onto our next method of making money, and that is answering questions online. So if you have a skill or you have knowledge in some subject and people are looking for answers in that, you can actually be paid to do that. So one of the websites that I prefer to use is justanswer.com, and you can be pretty much any category as well here. Doctors, nurses, vets, relationship care. Maybe you fancy yourself as a relationship expert and you want to sell your knowledge online. Wedding, job, etiquette, homework, pretty much anything. I used to help a lot of people with their school homework on this site, um, and you can make a good amount of money. I think you make $5 per, per, per question or whatever it is, um, and you get a commission off of that as well. So the site takes their, their amounts and you get a commission off of that. So it's a great way if you know what you're talking about in some category uh, or some, some skill level or some niche and you answer people's questions. 
And there are other sites out there that you can answer questions on, but just answer is my preferred version. Right, so our next method is writing articles online or getting paid to write articles. Now there's multiple sites for this as well, depending on what skill you have again or what, what subject you have knowledge in. In the past, I've written a lot of articles for photography websites and for Illustrator and Photoshop tutorial websites. Um, when I first started out, I was writing a lot of that and getting paid a lot. So depending on what niche you can enter into, you can get paid a lot more. So you can get paid up to $500 to $1,000 an article, depending on, on what your skill level is or what you are talking about. Or you can just have sort of general knowledge and do your own research and use a site like Listverse, the site that we're on at the moment. Now what this site does is they publish articles that are in list format. So as you can see here, 10 intriguing facts about the diet love pass incident, 10 sneaky secret uh, tricks companies use to make us spend more. All these, these list articles, they, they want them and they pay you for these articles. So if you click on more and you can click write and get paid, you can get paid $100 per list. So you submit your list. If they like your, your list, they pay you through PayPal, they pay you 100 bucks. So there are multiple sites for this as well. If you just search for write to get paid online, you'll find ways to write articles and get paid. There are a lot of websites that will pay you for guest posts as well. So maybe you're an expert in hiking or outdoor adventures and you know the best ways to do something with regards to that. You can write an article on that and actually pitch it to these multiple sites and you'll get paid to, to write these articles because the truth is that the majority of these big websites are always looking for new content to publish to keep their, their constant flow of content going so that people visit their website and view their ads and they make money that way. So they're always looking for new content. So just find whichever site or whichever category you're interested in or whichever niche you have knowledge in and write articles on that. And then the final method that we're gonna talk about is actually YouTube. So this video that you're watching at the beginning of it, there may or may not have been an ad and maybe in the middle of the video, there might've been a pop-up ad. And that happens with majority of YouTube videos or creators who are part of the YouTube partnership program or YouTube partners. So if you click on the, a video and you click play, you'll see an ad runs at the beginning of this video, right? So YouTube pays creators a small percentage depending on how many ad views they get. So it's CPM or cost per million, I think it is, or cost per impression. So for every thousand ad views, there's a certain amount that a YouTuber gets paid. And you can make some money on this depending on how many views your video gets, how long somebody watches that video for, or how far into the video somebody watches, and how often they return, or how long you can keep them on YouTube. So creators do make a lot of money like this, and it does help them support their channel, so don't skip those ads if you see them in the beginning of a video, um, or remove your ad block, or whatever it may be. So I've made, uh, I make a couple hundred dollars a month currently on YouTube, even though my channel's only got 51,000 subscribers at the moment. So if you aren't yet, don't forget to click subscribe. And once you are subscribed, hit that little bell notification so that you get new messages when, you, when I upload new videos. Don't forget that. So it does really help us um, if you subscribe to, the, subscribe to our channels. So that's essentially it, eight ways that you can make money online right now. Um, and like I said in the beginning of this video, or in the middle of this video, I am focusing the majority of my efforts on Amazon at the moment because it does make a lot of money. It is, has proven the most lucrative for me. So if you wanna le learn more about that or get more information on that, just click the link in the description and you'll be taken to that. But as always, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Um, thank you so much. If you did like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I do upload videos very regularly and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.